Okay, today we're going to talk about serves, just like we've done with the forehand and the backhand. Today we'll stick with the basics, but with the correct fundamentals. But this is only just for beginners. This is not advanced at all. This is beginner. I'll make advanced videos later. So, the first thing, it looks like this. And that's roughly what the serve looks like. Now, ideally, so if you've never seen a serve before, before you even think of taking a lesson, I'm saying watch a tennis match. So you gotta get that idea first. All right, the first thing is the grip. You gotta hold the racket with the continental grip. And one of the best ways to check if the grip is correct, imagine you've got a Sharpie and you draw a straight line From the top of the racket, draw a straight line, and that line should go right in the middle of your arm. And you can see the difference. Hold the racket like that. There is no line. My arm is going that way, my racket is going that way. So you gotta make sure you hold it in a way that you've got as close to a straight line as possible. So that's your continental grip. And the second thing, stand sideways. You want the back foot to be parallel to the baseline, and you want your front leg to be at a 45 degree angle or pointing at the net post over there. And then stand comfortably, so you're kind of balanced. All right, now next thing, you wanna have the ball right in front of you with your arms straight and your arms kind of relaxed. So you want your arms straight and your arms kind of relaxed. And this is a checklist. Make sure your racket is facing up. Make sure your racket is pointing where you want the ball to go. And make sure you are sideways. So the left opposite shoulder is kind of pointing where you want the ball to go. So you're kind of standing like this. And I'm just relaxed and comfortable like this. That's kind of how you start. Now, you can play around with this a little bit. You might put this foot forward in relation with the heel of your front leg. You might put it back. You can kind of play around with this. So this is still basics. We're not getting into anything advanced. You can play around with this. Stand comfortably. I'm going to move my racket into the wrong grip. Now, notice how the racket is now pointing to my right and I want the ball to go to my left but my racket is pointing that way. That's one checklist that your grip is wrong. Two, notice how my racket is facing down. That's your other checklist that your, your grip is wrong. So you want to make sure you have those two things. And and just to kind of, to, to kind of uh, confirm with this, even if I do this with my left hand, which is very awkward for me, I still hold the racket like this. And so I'm still sideways, I'm still holding my racket like this, and we still have this motion where everything moves together. So from here, it's up, and it's that motion. And again, same thing, even with my left hand, racket up, toss it, and do that snap. Rack it up, toss it, and do that snap. And another one, rack it up, check the grip, rack it up, toss it, and do the snap. Good, so once you kind of have that idea, and then now the next thing is a, the next thing is a toss. You wanna toss the ball, again, this is still basic. You wanna toss the ball in a way that when you toss it, you're not moving your feet before you hit the ball. So, telltale sign that your toss is bad, is wrong. If you toss and you have to chase the ball, then something was wrong. So if you toss it and you have to move, 
that's a big, big telltale sign that your grip, your toss is wrong. If you toss the ball, you should not have to move to hit the ball. If you have to move, don't hit it. So, naturally, you want your weight going forward. So I'll practice the toss at home in the backyard, driveway, or if you got high ceilings in your house. I would toss the ball, not just have the racket and ball together, confirm the grip, toss the ball, and catch it. When you catch the racket, get the racket in this position. Toss the ball, and catch it. This is very important. Not just how my other arm, the arm holding the racket was going up as well. So I wasn't tossing it. You definitely don't want to do that because it's two movements. And most people that practice like this, they get a perfect toss. And then when it's time to do the serve, then everything is completely different. So you have to practice, both arms have to move together. And then catch it in this position. Again, toss it, catch it. And when you stand in this position, your racket and your arm, they have to be somewhat up. And you notice this shoulder is a lot higher than my right shoulder because I'm right-handed. So I'm in this position. And when you catch it, it should be in this position. All right, one last time. Practice this before you got the grip, you've got kind of the motion, toss it. And if you can do that consistently, now throw in the hit. Make sure your weight is going forward after you hit the ball. If you toss, if you hit the ball and your weight was going that way to your left, that means the toss was too far to your left. Same thing if it goes to your right, your toss is too far to your right. Same thing if it goes backwards, it means your toss is going backwards. Toss it forward a little bit. So your weight goes forward. Clearly I'm exaggerating the going forward Unless you play serving and bowling, I'm not gonna run forward. I'm going to land in the court and then get back. All right, I'm not jumping yet. I'm not doing the advanced serve yet. This is still very basic. This is for somebody who's never served before and you want to be able to start serving in about a month or two. That's what the serve looks like. Now, back to expectation. Before I tell you the answer, there is no right or wrong answer, by the way, but roughly how many serves do you think you have to hit before you get some kind of an idea of a good serve or when you start getting about 50% of the serves in somewhat uh, 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 with good technique? Roughly, you've never played tennis before and you're serving for the very first time. How many balls do you think you have to hit? Because your expectation is going to affect how you go about it. I'm, asked, I'm waiting for the number. All right, you have to hit at least 200 serves. So you're not gonna hit 10 serves and think that you, you're going to get it. There's way too many things going. Just the toss on its own, that could take you 100 balls just to get that right and then coordinating your arms that could take you another 50 balls and then uh, uh, making contact and figuring out what your left arm does that could take you another so it's going to take you at least 200 serves before you get some kind of an idea so do not serve anything less than 200 balls and start expecting any kind of results or start going back on YouTube and looking for more videos for quick fixes. This, this is a one shot where there are hardly any quick fixes. It's going to take time. 
And the beauty of it is the one shot you can work on by yourself. You don't need anybody else on the court. By now you kind of have an idea what the surf should look like. And you're starting to see certain issues that you're struggling with. So these are tricks and tips to help diagnose a few issues. Throw the ball over the net. And you'll notice some people will do this. And then they won't get the ball past the service line or anywhere close to the net. And then that's when we'll get into turn sideways. Get your body into it. And then once people understand that concept that it's like throwing a ball over the net, not just how the hips got involved. My arm is not moving yet. And then right at the end is that motion. Again, I'll keep it real basic. It's just a throw-in motion. Now, once you kind of understand this, next thing is understanding it's exactly the same thing, but it's like throwing the racket head to the ball, but then keep holding on to the racket. So that same, the same throwing motion is the same like that. And that's what you're looking for. That's what you're looking for. So that is one very good tip. And it's, it's something that is tangible. You can measure how much you're improving. So you stand on the baseline, see how far you throw in the ball. So if you're not getting the ball over the net, then obviously the first stage is to try to get the ball over the net. If you're not throwing it over the net, 99% of the time has nothing to do with strength. It's sequencing the, the kinetic chain or the throwing. If you turn your shoulders too soon, you lose power. If you turn your hips too soon, so just being able to throw the ball over the net would let you know that everything is in sync. And, and if you can throw it over the net, then try to throw it past the service line. And then try to throw it past baseline. So I would move this over here. And you want to get this sequencing going from the hip. And I can throw it way past the baseline. And then watch what it takes for me to actually throw this over the fence. Again, you have to load your legs rock back, lean forward, and that goes over the fence. So the, the farther you can throw it, the harder you're going to hit the surfs. So you need to make sure that you have that sequencing going, and you need to make sure that you've got that practice in. The next video I'll make will be at the advanced serve. It will look something like this. Rock, down, All right, and that'll be the next video.